Hello students, welcome back to recorder lessons in my living room. So before we move on to the next song after When the Saints Go Marching In, I want to review it and make sure we're ready. So if you're not quite ready to move on to our next song, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, I would like you to go back and practice uh, When the Saints Go Marching In. So. Here is kind of how you know if you're ready. So I'm going to play this through two times. Um, the first time I'm going to rush through the song and not really pay much attention to any of the markings like the breath marks or how long to hold the notes out. notice how the notes were very short and they were all kind of very short and some places had really really long breaks and there's no really long breaks in this it's mostly just long notes and then little breath marks where we take a breath and because I was rushing through it I ended up making a lot of mistakes in the second half and um, I didn't give myself enough time to look ahead at the notes while I was playing. So now I'm going to take my time going through this song and let's see if it sounds a little bit better um, when we take our time. So even though I did make one little tiny mistake, um, it sounded a lot more like the song was supposed to sound. And I held out notes uh, as long as they were supposed to be held where we had those ties. If you remember um, the ties making the notes tied together so that they're a longer note. So I held out all those notes and by holding out the notes for as long as you're supposed to hold them for, it was giving me time to look ahead to what I play next while I'm holding out a long note. So if you pl can play along with me playing this with, with you and we can play most of the notes correctly and at a very steady pace, you are ready to move on to the next song. So we'll play this one more time together and then we'll look at our next song. One, on the count of three, one, two, three. So here is our song number seven, Red Belt Song, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. We learn a few new things here. We learn a new note. Our new note is F sharp. So as we know, the letter names in the spaces are F, A, C, E. And this note right here is F. But when it has this symbol in front of it, that is called a sharp symbol. So what that means is that 
this note is just a little bit higher. So we call it a half step higher um, when you have a sharp sign in front of it. Uh, the other thing we learn is a key signature. So we have our clef here, and then right here is our time signature that we learned about. And this means that there's four beats per measure. But this key signature tells us that there are two sharps in here. So that would mean that the if there's any notes that are here on the F line or anything that's F, so either this F note right here, so the F note on the bottom space is sharp, and then the F note on the top line is sharp. And then anything that's on this C space is sharp as well. So in this song, we have all of our Fs sharped. So let's go ahead and write letter names underneath our notes again. So we start here with D, and then here's A, here's B, and A, G. Here's our new note here, F sharp, F sharp. And then we have E, and D. Here is A, G, more F sharp, and E. A, G, more F sharp, and E. Here's D, A, B, A, G, more F sharp, E, and D. So in our last song, when the saints go marching in, we had those new notes, um, high D and high C, and we actually have none of those notes in this song. We just have our brand new note, this F sharp. So we have this F sharp here, 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 and down here. The other things we wanna keep in mind that we have in this song that we need to pay attention to are the breath marks. So circle all of your breath marks to make sure you don't forget about any of those very important breath marks. So now that we wrote in all of our letter names onto Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, uh, we want to look at how to play F sharp. So we cover the top three notes as well as the back thumb hole we cover these two middle holes so we skip over one of them and we don't cover the bottom one so what that's going to look like is covering our thumb hole and remembering we use our left hand on the top cover those three holes and we are not going to cover this hole right here we're going to skip that hole and cover the next to here. So keep in mind that um, the this one down here actually covers two little holes. So cover you want to cover both of them. Um, and don't use these two fingers down like this. That's actually not the correct way we do it. So we want to keep our fingers this first finger here on your right hand is just for this hole right here. We want to make sure that we reserve the, your pointer finger for that to cover that hole. So use these two fingers to cover the next two holes. And that is what an F sharp note looks like um, to play on your recorder. 
So let's play some F sharp notes um, after me. All right, since we've practiced playing F sharp a couple of times, let's practice going from, let's see, um, often in Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, we go from G to F sharp. So this is what the G looks like, just a reminder. And then, um, so we'll play back and forth from G to F sharp. Now, there are some times when we go from an F sharp to an E. So let's go ahead and practice doing that. So once again, that was going back and forth from F sharp to E and from E to F sharp. So as usual, before we play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, we always sing through this song to remind us how the song should sound. So let's sing through the song together. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are i also remembered while i was singing the words to breathe at the breath marks. And that's also something you want to practice when you sing the song. So now let's sing on the letter names. D, D, A, A, B, B, A, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, D, A, A, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, a, A, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, D, D, A, A, B, B, A, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, D. Did you make sure to breathe in those breath mark spots? Make sure you take those breath marks and take a breath where they, um, where those fall. So now let's go ahead and pick up our recorder and start on D. So that means we cover um, the three top and then these three bottom. This is definitely a song we want to spend some time practicing, third graders. Um, definitely let's uh, focus on the, um, 
the spots that have that new note F sharp in them uh, because those are going to be very challenging to go from uh, to lift up these two to go back and forth with these fingers. So maybe you could try this as an exercise, just going back and forth with these fingers because that'll be good practice for when you try this song out for yourself. So I hope you guys have fun learning how to play this song. Um, if you are still working on um, when the saints go marching in, keep on at it. Um, I would, I love uh, when you guys spend time and uh, really make a song sound good and work on holding those long notes out and taking breaths where there's breath marks. Um, just take your time and um, just make sure that your songs are, you're playing them properly and that you are keeping a steady beat and, and you're holding out your notes for as long as the note value says to. In this one, we don't have any ties, so there's no really long notes in this one, which might make it a little bit easier but definitely that new note is going to take a little bit of time to get used to. Hope you guys are having a good day and I hope to see you guys in the classroom again soon. Bye third grade.